guys welcome 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 to fabulous j2 life sale this is your girl jackie aka fabulous j2 life sale but i am changing this name guys i am going to call it um fabulous boutique then in parentheses fabulous j boutique that's what this is gonna be because it's not only live sale that i do on this channel i do other things like show my thrifted items so if you're new here today we are doing mostly we do live sale on this channel but being that i don't do that much live sale i will show you guys things that i thrifted i don't have my microphone guys forgive me do i need my mic i think i do need my mic i need my mic but anyway i'm just gonna swing it because i did not charge it so yeah we're all about affordable shopping we don't break the bank here we do the high and the low we just know how to thrift so what i want to do today guys i was sitting there thinking i do have a hope of the valley haul to do but i'm gonna wait on that i am what i wanted to do be that fall is right around the corner is to show you some of my mains thrifted blazers that i forgot i had okay i really did because they were in a bean and i had put them away and i left the ones that i could pull like my pradas and my um Givenchy and a couple of ysl those are upstairs in the bonus room hanging on the rack but what i'm showing you here is ones that i thrifted that i forgot i had Guys, that's why I, I keep going to Goodwill and I keep accumulating all these men's blazers. Like I tell you, I could open a store just for men's blazers, period. Just men's blazers. So, ah, it's, it's, it's a thing. Should I sit my ass down? It's a thing. It's a thing. I want to sit for a minute. It's like, yeah. So. Do you see this bean right here? I don't know if you can see it. Let's come closer. There's a bean full of men's blazers right here. It's not a live sale for those of you who are probably confused like, oh my God, is she having a live sale? No, I'm just showing you guys my men's thrifted collection. Some of this stuff I keep saying I am going to, um, I'm going to sell them. And then I have my luxury ties. We have MS Gucci, YSL, Christine Dior. We have all those ties that I keep forgetting to bring to you guys. I still have those. I really do. Maybe I will show you a couple of them. But I was just going through my blazers that were in here. And I was like, why are you still thrifting men's blazers when you have so many? I eat. This one still has a tag. Came out Hope of the Valley for $6.99. It's a, I was happy. It's a J crew. It's a J crew. I should stand so then I could maybe try them on. I'm not styling this guys. Maybe a couple of them I might. I'm not sure. It's not a styling video. It's me preoccupying myself. Preoccupying myself because your girl has nothing better to do today. I was going to go to Goodwill for $1.99, but then I said to myself, if I go there, I'll be forced to buy <laughs> some men's places. So let me see the ones that I have, you know? So, this is the ones that I already have. This is a J. Crew. Let's put some let's put some heels on because right now I got some slippers on, but I, I want heels. Let's let's go to our okay. This is my to go because everything else is either summery or open toe, but I want a pump, and I have on a denim skirt that I had going from Target from Target. See, I got money on the floor, but I ain't going to pick it up. I'm going to let it stay there because it's going to bring me more money. Don't pick your money. If you find pennies or dimes somewhere in your house, don't pick it up. Just leave it there. It's going to bring you more money. All right. So this is the J. Crew, guys. 
this is the j crew i hope you all can hear me this is the j crew men's blazer two button it's more like a khaki color it is cute so every blazer i have here i am going to style it with this denim skirt that i have let me grab a bag come on there's a handheld thing that fall is here let's just carry it put it handheld oh i was gonna say whose dress is this but then i forgot it was sandra so i might have to keep that dress sandra because um I'm looking at it and it's like catching my eye. Oh no. No. Hold on, guys. I think it'll be nice if I carry the Ted Baker bag. Just the purple color. So, this is cute. This is men's blazer, guys. And I think everything here you see that i'm gonna pull out is probably stuff that's thrifted but i'm just showing you the pieces that i have this is a j crew men's blazer and look at the way it fits me i forgot what size this is let's see what size this is so it's all this stuff was upstairs in a bonus room that remy does his gaming i call it remy's game room but the poor child <laughs> i have so much merchandise in there that's for me that he is like mom when are you gonna take all the stuff out of there so i am gonna bring him down to the garage boutique and if i need it i could just come down here and and grab it I'm trying to find the size j crew i don't see, I don't see the size guys mm. Ashman, Lashami, J. Crew. Move it away from that corner. If the wind is gonna keep making it fall off. It's my little night. I have all. I have the garage door open. I should even open this other door over here, cause I need me some air. But that's one blazer. The next blazer I have is this 100% uh, silk backerash made in Italy, kind of plaidish. I'm gonna have to open my side door because I'm getting hot. And these two for $6.99 from Hope of the Valley. Been sitting in my bin, never took it off. It's like, oh. Remy, I'm going to need somebody to open the side door for me. That door always gets stuck. I don't know how to open it. My side garage door. Sorry, guys. Not this guy. So, you want to come open the side door? I can move the camera. Thank you. Appreciate that. So, here we go. Here is the plaid. I need some air because I'm sweating bullets. It's nice outside today. Oh yeah, put that chair. Something. Yeah. So it all flows back. Go for the TV. Oh, that feels better. Thank you. Let me move it so I'm sure you'll be like, I don't want to be on your video more. Be careful. Too many wires. All right, so that's that. This is another one that you can literally even wear this by itself. I love the shoulders. The shoulders are, the shoulders are just perfect. So that's that. I might have to increase the, the height so y'all can see my face. Ooh, that air feels good. Okay, so let's move on to the next. Can you all see me? Yeah, can you see me now? Okay, all right. Our next blazer 
we have that oh i got this from the real real guys the tag is still still attached the real real men's blazer because you know i like i said i'm a fanatic for men's blazer because the women's blazers don't fit me as well because i have such long arms or hands or whatever and this is um this is a dolce dolce and gabbana so it's pinstripe i do keep this and that's why they were put away in the bin so i forgot how much i paid for this because it's been like a couple of years now never wore it i bought it on sale when the reader was having one of their sale situation see how it fits once more guys these are men's blazers it has a two button let's find a, a belt let's do a, a purple color let's do a red belt This is another way we can style a men's blazer. Okay. I might have to wear like a mini skirt with it. But for now, we are keeping <laughs> this denim skirt because uh, it's a thing. Hold on, guys. Let me get a bag. Let's get this Saks Fifth Avenue clutch, Italian clutch. We can wear this. I have red shoes. So let's take away the coal horn and find some red shoes over here, which I'm sure I do have. So okay, let's put on some Bruno, Bruno Magli, which is a high end. Not as high, but you know, it's red, so I just want to make it look fashionable. Can you even see the shoe, guys? Because I can't see it. Can we see the shoe? Yes, yeah, so this is another way we can style this um, men's blazer. Minus the denim skirt. I probably could do something else with this. But I didn't come, I really didn't come prepared. I was cleaning, cleaning, taking stuff out of Remy's game room so he can have some space. And I was like, oh my God, I have all these blazers. Let me share it with my sister. So I threw a little makeup on, make it look like I'm well put together. <laughs> all right, so this is the Dolce. And Gabbana, you can wear it with, even with pants and stuff and make it look good, even though it's men's, but you can make it look um, feminine. Yeah. Dolce and Gabbana town. This is from the real real. This is uh, Sergio Valentino, and I do have the Govani, and that's upstairs. Keep it to yourself. But this is Sergio Valentino. His last name is Valentino. He can't help himself. He's not trying to be Govani. He's just a Valentino. If you were born a Johnson, you can't help yourself. You're a Johnson. If, if your last name was Trump, that don't mean you're related to Donald Trump. <laughs> just saying because if you google trump there's a lot of trumps out there and that don't mean they related so once more this is sergio valentino it is men's um was it light gray with a blue pinstripe and it is a four button made in italy four button 
see when i thrift my jackets guys i i really want to make sure most of them are made in italy most of them at least 90 percent of them so this is a four button uh oh my bag got caught up in my earrings okay stay put so here's another way i can literally wear this as a dress maybe i can take off we can take off the uh the denim the denim skirt so you see how we can literally wear this as a dress the only thing about this denim skirt is the button is like so the buttonhole is so teeny tiny okay so yes let's do this hopefully i'm not showing you guys anything let's put some heels on going to put an ankle shoes because the, the jacket is just a plain blazer so we just don't want to wear plain old shoes something that go, goes all the way to your ankle will be what I am going to style this with and so the only shoe I have in here is this Cape Robin shoes So I'm wearing this as a dress, even though it's a men's blazer. It's a Sergio Valentino. Sergio, not Mario, not Grovani, not Orlandi. It's Sergio. So this is cute. Love it. So I don't have anything underneath it. So I'm going to be very modest. I put in my hands like this and um I'm looking to see what bag I could rock with this so many that I want to do uh -huh. in that the shoe in that the shoe has silver I can style it up with this Badly Mishka, just wear it as such. I don't have to belt it, but underneath it, I might have like a pair of shorts or maybe uh, a little mini skirt. But um, being that there's no slit in the back, the Sergio does look good as a dress. As a dress, guys. It's cute. Yeah. All right. That's so Sergio. We did thrift this. Everything in that coming out of this box was thrifted. If I say thrifted, even if it's the real, real, that's a buy and sell. So it's still pre-loved. Some of them have tags. Some of them have brand new tags and some don't. So that's that part. I said I wasn't doing no styling, but I can't help myself, people. It's just nuts. All right, let's put my skirt back on. And then continue with the rest of the blazers. I can tell you guys this button right here is a pain oh this time i got it i guess the first time was a pain but then the second time was okay so let's take away sergio can't wait for fall to get here and another way you can wear this is just by uh just by throwing it on your shoulder i'm trying to take it off Try to do it as a, you know, how sometimes when you go out, you don't want to. Once more, let's just go to this clutch because it's close by. You can 
wear this as such over a nice little dress especially if you live in the area where it gets cold in the evening i.e california in the fall if you could in the mornings it is hot and then as soon as five o'clock gets here you need to pull up a jacket so this sojo men's blazer will come to play i think this two super 140 thread super 140 thread made in italy is sergio valentino cute so when I was buying this, I wasn't thinking, oh my God, I'm getting Gravani. I knew what it was. I've been in this business for a long time. I know all the Valentinos that's out there. Okay. These are just brand name Valentino. Not, I won't, these are not luxury. They don't cost you an arm and a leg like the other one, Valentino wear. But it's still a little bit pricey. It ain't cheap now. So don't get it wrong. Okay. Then now we're in the Valentino situation. This is another one that I thrifted from Hope of the Valley. And this is another Valentino that I, I, I heard before, but I never heard before. But it's, uh, no, I've heard about Gino. This is Gino Valentino. These are all these Italian boys who have last name Valentino. So this is Gino. And this is, um, I don't know what it says right here. I can't see. This is still new. When I saw all this, this she had a collection. When I saw all this at Hope of the Valley, I was like, okay, okay. One, two, this has three buttons. This is super big. Just by looking at it, it's Antonio. It says, fabric woven by Antonio Barry. See right here? Yeah. So... Let's find the size of this humongous jacket. This is big, I'm not gonna lie. Where is the size? Cheesh. Oh, 48 regular. 48 regular is in women's sizes will be an extra large or even a double X. These are the ones like let me show you something. This is what stores like Zara, H&M, they mimic when they make blazers. Like this is an H&M blazer. You see how big this is? This is a Gino Valentino. I'm telling you some of these fast fashion, they copy other designers and make it affordable. So this is cute. This is super big, I gotta say. But it has two slits in the back. We can pull this up. One small, we can wear it as such. Or we can put a belt. You don't even need to button it. I will not button this when I put a belt. I'm not going to. Hold on. This is... Not the right one, but I got all my, okay. We have a patent leather belt here. Oh, see, that's one thing with patent leather. If you keep, don't take good care of it, it's going to tail. I had thrifted this for $2.75, but now I'm beginning to see a little bit of crack. But here is this. like jackie why do you always have to put a belt on your men's blazer if they're super big yeah i mean i can wear them as such i can wear this with cargo pants and just make it look bigger so put this belt in the middle i need an extra hole but i don't think oh i do have an extra hole That one was not doing what it needs to do. So I pushed it all the way to the end. This is cute. I love the flap. 
this i can wear with this pair of boots guys mini skirt can go underneath this this is mini skirt can go underneath this pick a bag and rock this baby no hold on guys Okay, I don't have, I'm looking for clothes with silver, and I can do this little traditional wristlet thingy that I thrifted from Hope of the Valley, so I can wear it with this, yeah? So this was Gino Valentino. Not Giovanni, not Soju, not Mario, not Orlandi. This is Gino. <laughs> All the Valentino brothers are coming to play. <laughs> yes. So why not? They figure, okay, the Valentino house is making money. Our last name is Valentino. How about we make our own? Yeah? Okay, so they're all Italian brothers. They're not brothers, you know, I'm just saying they're Italian men, period. All right, so we got this is Gina. My next one will be made in France. I just saw made in France. Who is this? Oh, Isamora. This is Isamora, made in France. I got this for six dollars from Super Thrift. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to hit you with a hanger. I have some other use some around or YSL men's blazers upstairs. Okay, the reason which I am going to crop this, the reason this is this was put away, it had some imperfections. What the hell? Okay, it's UPS. I'm like, who's pulling up on my driveway? UPS. What do I have? Huh. Anyway, somebody else will get it. So it does have an imperfection. So I am going to go ahead and cut it as a vest. Make a vest out of it, I think. Yeah. Because the hands has that little part. So I'm going to go ahead and chop off this part, which I should do as a matter of fact. But I don't think I have my scissors down here. And I don't want to call Mr. Remy. You'll be like, Lord Jesus, have mercy on my soul, my mother. All right. I really have to cut this because it is showing. So we are going to cut it at the end. And this is what the Isamara blazer look like. So if I cut it, oh, damn. It does have a puffy shoulder. So if I cut it, it's going to be like the the Burberry Comfort Denim that we got from Didi's. That was Burberry. But then they chopped off the hand. Maybe it was imperfection and they sold it to them. But this is what I'm going to do because this has this little nicky. And I don't want to fix it. I have so many YSL ones to fix. So it was $6. So I did not break the bank. If I butcher it, oh well, it was six dollars. So we got that. This one is Oscar de la Renta. Beautiful hairy bone. Almost look like they are Valentino, uh, Gino, and this too was from Hope of the Valley for six ninety nine. I don't know why the tag came off, but I must have styled it before with something. So this is Oscar de la Renta, and this is the size. I need to try this one. It's gonna fit just like well, I could. Where is the Oscar size? Oh, here we go. 
Oh, size 42 short. Oh my. So 42 short in men's would be a size 6. Even though it's a short, and being that it's, it's Oscar De Laurenta, it's, it's brand name, it's designer. The sleeves are still, for a woman, the sleeve is still perfect. So, we can pull it up. It's going to give you a nice silhouette. It's a three button. So here, I am just going to button one. Because with the three buttons, you can either do two or you can do one. And you can just go about your business. It's like so easy. Let's say fur. Like really easy breezy. Carry a little clutch. Oscar de la Renta. Super cute. It has two vents in the back. No need to button this. You just throw it on with whatever. You could wear a flowy dress or you could just wear your regular jeans and like I say, if it's not that hot in your neck of the woods, this will be something you can consider to just put on. So, damn, Gina, I still have a whole bunch. Let me just, now I'm just gonna start showing you what I got. Because uh, we start all this, we're gonna be here forever. This is, oh, I like this. I like the way this feels. I just love the way this feels. I love, even though, I don't know the brand on here, dry clean only. Oh, here we go. It's by Ted Lapidus, Paris. Diffusion. Okay. The, the fabric is everything. The two pockets. Ha! Ah, look at that. It's giving you. Oh, that one has one button. It's giving you that cargo look right there. And this too was thrifted at Hope of the Valley. That's why Hope of the Valley used to have so many nice stuff. Then all of a sudden, maybe they started sending me to another Hope of the Valley because my Hope of the Valley used to have some dumb. That's why I got my Prada. That's why I got a lot of my Givenchy. But this, this, all you go there is like, all you find is Canali and, and not luxury, just Smuggly, smuggly, smuggly. But here we go. This made in Paris. It fits like a woman's, but it's not. It has a two button. It has a two button. It's cute. I have shoes that I can wear with this. What is this on my head? We can try it with this um, Charles David shoe to just go with it. What size is this Charles David? Oh, no wonder, size seven. I'd be like, why is this so tight? But you know, I used to buy these things because I thought you guys would want them. Oh. I know if you see guys, you see me with ashy feet. You know why? Because I'm shoving it down there. So this is cute. Yeah. I love it. We can we can do this crossbody. Uh -oh. Crossbody as such. Love this, guys. This is one of my best jackets I ever thrifted. I just love the way the fabric feels. It's just super, super rich, you know. And then we do have this right here. So it's cute. 
guys i am styling this with one ouch one outfit in mind so don't judge me i'm just showing you why jackie should not thrift any more any more men's blazer because i have a stupid collection what i'm showing you is not even half of what i got because i got another rack here then i got another rack upstairs guys it's a thing and it's like men's blazer is a thing for me because i try to get women's but oh this is what was catching on my braids i tried to get women's but it was like eh, no so we got that let's move on to the next one Oh, snap. This is Lamba. This is a luxury, men's luxury, Lamba. Paris, New York. Oh, I didn't tell you what size this Ted jacket is. It's so French. Oh, I forgot. And the inside is has the name written all over it. I don't know if you can see it, and mostly in the middle part. I'm trying to find the size. Size was chopped off, so no need. But anywho, you showing the llama. Kind of a light gray. I did get this, I remember very well, at Salvation Army. This is another reason back I don't know, maybe it's only in the fall that they get nice luxury jackets. But this was a good buy. I think it was $9 at the time when all men's blazers was $9. So I did get this for $9. I'm trying to find the, the size. I think... Dry clean only, use cool iron. So what a size. All right, you guys would just have to see me try it on and then you'll see no size. There's a down button right here. Dash Allos Brothers Lafayette, Concord, California. That's from, that's the store it came from. All right, so this is my wow. men's light gray light gray light gray we got the buttons here and then we have the two button right here which i'm not going to i'm not going to go ahead another thing i think i love this number hold on guys which i don't know why i threw these shoes way over there oh no we cannot have that here I cannot fall. It has a little slick back here. Super cute. Yeah. Very masculine. Even though it does have the shoulders, but this scream boss lady all day. It's like, huh? Yes. You're coming around the corner and you're a manager. And Trust and believe everybody's going to run. I'm like, boss lady coming. <laughs> so, yes. So, this lava can go with this. Especially if you're wearing like a dark, let's just say you're wearing a black dress. This could just make it look a whole lot lighter. And like I said, this was from Salvation Army. Does anybody out there who has a better collection of men's blazer than moi? Comment down, down there because I will challenge you. We can do a face off. <laughs> Let's see who got the most. I mean, it's not a competition, guys. I'm just saying that to tell myself you don't need no more jacket. So there's that one, Lamba. There's another Lamba coming. It's another Lamba. This one is a darker color. I think this is Lamba. Yeah. Right there. And this is 
a one button. This is more of a tuxedo kind of look. This is when you have a beautiful dress on and you want to elevate your dress. You just throw this on your shoulder. I don't know where I got this from. I'm trying to figure out. But yeah. This is another way you can wear this one by itself. And you just keep moving right along. We carry this little clutch we got from Hope of the Valley. Let's envision this was my evening outfit. But then I just throw the llama jacket and here I come. Casual but comfortable. Okay? So that's this. Like I don't know where I got this from. But let me look at it and I can tell you. I can tell you where this came from. I think this too was from Salvation Army. Yeah. More of a tuxedo kind of look. All right, all right, all right, come on. I ain't gonna be able to show you all, all this. Okay. This one, it's a navy blue. I keep hearing a car stop over. guys i have my garage door open i don't need no visitors except it's delivery people okay this is a sax fifth avenue um kind of crepey um men's blazer it has two buttons which means you can wear this now because it's only half lined sax fifth avenue and um i think this too was from Salvation Army, trying to find the size. Don't you just hate it when there's no size? No size, which means your girl has to try it on. Shush. No size, but it's cute. It's bigger. If I was to guess, I would say this is a 36. I mean a 36, a 46 regular, which is a large or extra large in women's. Yeah, just simple. Another simple blazer <laughs> you can wear with jeans or whatever. And that's Saks Fifth Avenue. I think this too was, I think it was on sale if I remember. I think it was a tag that was on sale. so. Which means I probably pay four dollars for it. All right. So we might do half of this, and then do the other half. Cause uh, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. Let me just start just showing you guys without trying them on. How about that? Because trying them on is taking a lot of time. Made in Italy. Beautiful two button. And this is Manny. Manny by Giorgio Armani. Came from Hope of the Valley because I can tell the little thingy in here, which means it was like $4. See what size this is. And this is a, it's some kind of brown pinstripe. Actually gray with brown pinstripe. More of like a herringbone kind of look. So... Yeah, gotta clean that. I'm trying to find the size. Oh God, the wind. Dry clean only. Come oh, on, Manny. Why do I don't understand why this? Oh, here. I love this guy. 
has to have a size on here somewhere. It does have a size, but it's washed out, unfortunately. But it does look like a 44 regular, which is what my son wears. So that's what I think. So there's that. I'm not trying that goes on. This is by Enzo Collection, made in Italy size 56 which means it's a 46 you can find this brand at the real real and these two came it's a three button it's more of a light gray or bluish gray right here look like uh, you can see a little plaid to it came from hope of the valley and this is a uh, super 120 thread right here made in italy and this will look so good with it with denim jeans this is enza collection another fine thread and a three button no need to try it on one day i will style them just showing you my collection and this one right here is by rita another nice kind of purple plaid cute this is my collection guys and this is by cavalito straight up italian it's cute it's by um i don't know if that's the the store but it's cavalito made in italy luxury fabric it says right there luxury fabric made in italy and the inside has like little ringlets. I love the plaid, the color of this is just yummy. Okay, my next blazer is the plaid. This is Lauren, black label, not the green. It's beautiful. Once we find an American brand, Lauren slim fit it's more of a kind of a wool plaid with two vents in the back this is slim fit so what is the size 44 short so if it's slim fit just because it says that I'm I'm going to see how slim this is which is sometimes my best fit if I'm looking for fitted blazers and stuff. I would look for a men's blazer that's a slim fit. So it kind of look like a women's blazer. You see the richness of this. You will never find this in the women's section. Ain't no way. Except you go to a luxury house. But guys, if you want to feel luxury on your body and you cannot go to neiman Marcus or dr goodman to get those luxury brands that these influencers be dropping a whole lot of coins on just go thrift mosey onto the men's section you'll find some luxury take it from me trust and believe you'll find luxury and it feels good on your body especially if you have long hands like more that women's blazers they're not my friend they look ridiculous on me so the next one is uh Goliano. let me show you guys this is Goliano um wool couture Goliano couture right there wool these two i got from where did i get this from it just says Galeano Couture. It doesn't tell me. I don't know where I got this from. I forgot. Maybe American Way, I believe, because uh, Goodwill. I think it could be Goodwill because it doesn't have the little staple thingy. That's how I could tell where I get some of my stuff, which means if I got it at Goodwill, it was probably on sale or was it? Maybe I just pulled the trigger. It's probably $9.99. And I pulled the trigger. And it says size. 
38 long. It says 32 to 38 long. Okay. So which means this is small. Yeah. This is a couture. It got to be small and form fitting. Look at that. It is a definite. Oh, no. No. I'm missing the button. I'm going to cry. Let's see. Shucks. Almost there. Mm -hmm. Anywho. Oh, wait. Thought, I thought that was a button, but that was me. Alright, so what I'm going to do is take this lower button right here. But I do have a whole lot of buttons that I hope can match this right here. And I can just wear it as such. If I was to button it, you see how it fits me like a woman's blazer because it's a smaller size. So, yeah. Goliano Couture. And... This was, this was very inexpensive, I think. Goodwill, I believe I got this at Goodwill. Because it's not marked anywhere else. If it was Super Thrift, they will mark it. If it was Hope of the Valley, I would see a little staple thingy. If it was American Way, I would see a little staple. So I would say that was Goodwill. another tuxedo super big and this is email bruzli it's a mouthful made in italy double breasted tuxedo it's big this can be worn as a dress 100 percent wool dry clean only trying to find a size so somebody said jackie what size was that even though most of this was mine oh this was a 50 regular huh. this is super big 50 regular like that and i can wear that as a dress i could belt it and rock it okay this is women's why is it here this is my women's bra flooring i don't need to showcase that i think i mistakenly put it with my men's blazer And this is made in Italy, I think. No, made in Colomate. What the hell is that? And this is, oh, this is made in Italy. Andrew Fizza, gold. Super cute, very heavy fabric. We have a three button. And this Andrew Fizza came from super thrift i remember yeah this came from super thrift it's very heavy very very heavy i love it the fabric is cool i love the fact that it doesn't have any most three buttons don't have slits on the back which means you can wear it as a dress or you know ain't nobody gonna know it's a men's blazer you can just rock it over what you have once more look at how cute this is andrew fizza not bad cute all right just had to throw that over my shoulder so you all can see that that was andrew fizza who's this oh emmanuel Emma Giselle de Zenia. This costs a lot of money in, in the men's store. If you want to get one of the top highest men's blazer, for you men that know, this is a double breasted. Emma Giselle de Zenia is running for like 5000 in the store, 4000 It's like, it just depends on the style. So this one here is a double breasted. I had gotten this because the real real sells a lot of this and I was going to take it there 
fine worsted super 120 super 120 this will sell they will pick this from me in a heartbeat but you know i'm still sitting here holding on to it trying to see what size some of the sizes they wash so easily can't find it it's in there but being that i don't have my glasses mm. double breasted and my giselle dozenia zegna zegna probably made in switzerland some of them are made in italy and some are made in switzerland so i can see where this is made so this is double breasted You know, I hate men's double breasted because they don't quite feel like double breasted. So because the their double breasted is always just one button right there. And then we belt it and make it look like a a dress, a high end, super cute. Yeah. Let's see what this one was made. It feels yummy on the skin. Let's see. This is made in Switzerland. I should be known. Voila. Right there. Made in Switzerland. Costs a lot of money. If you're a man, you know this costs a lot of money. Unfortunately, my hobby doesn't wear men's blazers because that will fit him so well. He's a sports, let's fix this boobies. He's a sports guy. He likes his Jordans and all the sports gear. He can only wear this if we get invited to a special occasion. They will be like, do you have a jacket? Then I have to find a jacket. Other than that, nope. Oh, you guys have seen this before. Why do I still have this? This is the Veneto signature made in Italy. It's a two piece. Looks, if you look at it, if you don't, if you blink, it look like a, like a Versace, but it's a, a Veneto made in Italy. I was keeping this for myself because somebody had asked me for it. I'd be like, oh no, I'm keeping it. And here we go. Here's the best. The best can go. But the jacket can stay. <laughs> the size of this is uh Jesus Christ Jackie. Size is not showing. But I can tell. I think it's a 44 or 46. Oh yeah, definitely a 46 regular on a long, I believe. Yeah, long. So that's that. Oh, cute. Another one we can we can just rock with some cargo pants and just keep it moving. Like hello. I don't think it has no slits in the back. It's a three button. Like I say, most three buttons don't have slits. So it's easy to wear this as a, a jacket dress, you know, without this long situation going on, you know. Yeah. Let's see. Wear it as a dress. And just mm -mm -mm. keep it moving, right? I know my denim, my denim skirt is just doing strange things, but guys, I didn't come to style a video. I just wanted to show my collection. So here we are. If you don't like it, I don't know what to tell you. So that was that part. And then, wow, I'm so glad for all this here. You all don't know. I'm so tired of summer pieces. And then here is the vest. If I just want to wear the vest by itself, I could. It has all the buttons from top to button to bottom. So, yeah. Another cute, cute, cute look. 
right, we're almost there, guys. I didn't think this. I did not think this was gonna be this long, but hey, give you all something to watch. It's like having a live sale, but full of men's blazers. It's an incentive. It's keeping me from going from goodwill. Today's dollar nine nine and I ain't going. I'm tempted. There's something in my ear like go, Jackie, go, go, and something says no, you don't need to go. All right, what is this right here? This came out of Goodwill. I can tell by that little string. Oh, yeah. This is Massimo Umo. I think I got this from the real real, or did I? Made in Italy. Yeah, I got this from the Goodwill. Oh, did I? I forgot. Born is New York, Massimo. It's a three button, very, very fine paint stripe, black. Yeah, I think I got this from the go from the real real for like, I don't know. I don't remember, but why does he have this? I thought the real real put their stuff up here. Either way, I got a Musimo. I can have wear it with like a Mosimo outfit or a Mosimo dupe. I do have some of those pieces. So we got that. I think I was done. Jeez. Oh, 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 oh. This is another Gino. Another Gino Valentino. It says G Valentino right there. The ins it's a two button, it's brand new. I think this came from a store because they had so many at Hope of the Valley when I went there. When I grabbed all this, and this is I just love the inside. See the size of this one. Okay, this one you can see the size still fresh brand new this is a 40 oy oy. okay jackie where is the size again size 50 regular mm. so these are big 50 regular is a double x my husband can wear a 50 regular or 48 because he has such broad shoulders yeah so if we were to go somewhere and he is in need of a italian men's blazer he could come to more i'll look in my archives and pull out i'm like here you go knock yourself out they bring it back after that we pay he's gonna have to rent it from me and this is a two button this will be rented in case he needs it it has two flaps it's one of those things you can just wear with a bag put some shoes on which i did not put no shoes let's put some shoes on and make it look fabulous let's put some respect on gino's name like yes we can rob gino valentino with a bcbb generation and gino we can really rock you with your italian another valentino brother mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gino, we can rock you with Orlandi. Valentino Orlandi meets Gino Valentino. Oh, So, yes. So, this one, his first name is Valentino, not his last name. His last name is Orlandi. So, but Gino's last name is Valentino. So, we can rock this together. Or maybe even the red one. Maybe the tan color. 
so just trying to keep all the valentinos together okay unfortunately down here i don't have a valentino shoe do i <laughs> i just might i don't know i do i have a valentino shoe but it's not my size This is my size. They're not the same Valentinos, but at the end of the day, they are Valentino. I could have rocked this, you know, with the other bag, with the red bag. I'm just playing at this point. Yeah, if this was my size, ain't nobody gonna tell me nothing. Okay. See how we can we can just thrift on a dime but the bag this wasn't thrifted i'm just saying the men's blazer the shoes but it's it's a gino it's not a gravani but this is gravani caravani caravani that's what this is i didn't know i had valentino shoes i forgot i thought i sold those shoes but it's still here it's a teeny size it's a size six if it was a seven, I will put my foot in it. I would have made it work. All right, so we were doing this. I think I got three more men's blazers for this particular situation. That came from upstairs. <sighs> and another one. How many of these things did I buy? Here's another one. Another Gino. Still brand new. If anybody wants a Gino, how about me? Because I have so far I've shown three. This one has a double pocket. The other one that I just took off did not. Still right here. This is fabric woven by Luigi Butto okay me ain't playing let's see the sides on here it just says gino valentino milano milano trying to find the size yikes is the size okay let me get my glasses why oh, am i struggling i mean i can i could put some glasses on and see what the size on this one is just in case s p a d g 42 long this one is a 42 long what did I say the other one was? Where's yeah, this other one? Did I say 50? Let me, let me be sure now that I got my glasses. No. Nope. USA 48 regular. I was looking at the, Ita the other size. The other size was 50 regular. European size was 50. USA is 48 for the, flat, the one that I just took off. But this one is a 42 long, which means this would be a good fit for me. Because actually 42 regular, 42 long or regular is what in men's blazer is what I will wear. That's what fits me to the T, like you can see right here. The sleeves might be long, but okay we can always fold them or if i do a men's button-up shirt or tuxedo shirt that has like a little um cuff hanging out that would be nice so this two is a two button the shoulders are just perfect it's, it has the vent in the back it's cute as hell Next to say I want to add a purple color. Forget the denim. But yeah. 
cute. So this one fits me very well. There's no need to just throw this even off the shoulder. I could just wear this. Look at how it fits my silhouette. Because it's a 42 long. That's my true size in men's blazers. I can do a regular. But I prefer a long because I like my sleeves to be longer. So this too is Gino Valentino. Once more, don't come for me and say, this is not Valentino. His name, last name is Valentino. He's not a luxury house, but he's a designer. There's some of you guys out there, I don't know what you be smoking. They don't own, uh, uh, Caravani does not own the last name. You know, it, Valentino is an easy, easy, common name in Italy. It's just like, what's the common name of America? Jones, Johnson, come on now. William, does that mean we all, they're all related? No. Okay, the next one is, Another Manny by Giorgio Armani, double-breasted, made in Italy, made in Italy. I like to say Italy, made in Italy. Tag was, size was cut off. Oh my God, guys, some people. I don't know, this came from Goodwill, I can tell. Goodwill, I don't know, double-breasted. It's cute. We're gonna let it be cute. Oh, what is this that was inside there? It's a Bugatti button up shirt. Let's check my thing. Like every time I think somebody pull up on my driveway, like it's just the wind. You know, these days you cannot, you can only be too careful, especially here in California when people, they can rob you in broad daylight. But anywho, I do have a sensor, so if they were to cross my threshold, I would know. What the heaven's name is this? Super heavy, it's a suit. What is by? Dynasty after six. Okay. Dynasty after six. They has the price. Oh, this is from American Way. It was $14.99. It's a two-piece. Okay, let's see what the pants look like. Ooh. 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 Okay. Okay. This is what the pants look like. Oh, I just want to try it on. Because it's mint. So, I don't know if it's going to fit me. But we're about to try this baby on. So, I will know for next time I'm looking for a tuxedo suit. I know where to go. Down here in my garage boutique. In boutique Jackie's uh, garage. Yeah, when I owned my store, it was called Boutique Jackie. But it was spelled with, being that Jackie was taken, it was spelled with double I. So now I am going to change the name to Fabulous Jet Boutique instead of Life Sale. Ooh, okay. A little big, but phew, nothing I can't handle. Okay. Wait a minute. Hold on. I could push it. What the hell is that? Ooh, hold on, people. Let's fix this baby. Make it make it tighter. So no, so tight. Let's put it here. God, how do I be? Okay, sometimes I'm looking for stuff to go out with. I'm looking for other things when I could just go into. I think you want to zip it up, Jackie. Shush. So here are the pants. After six. Here are the pants. 
Do you see this? Ah, oh, do you see that? Oh, all right, let's put a little loose, but it's okay. Let's put the jacket on. Oh my God, I love this. This is, um, is it Dynasty or Realisty? Is that a D or a Y? Anywho, all I know is it had to be on sale for me to pick it up. Pants are too loose. But we're about to. So it was a 36. So it says, I know the pants are 36. No wonder they're too big. In the men's pants, I will wear a 32 or a 34. That's a 36. But how cool is this, guys? For $14, but I could swear it was on a sale day. So I think I got, because I don't buy nothing I American way that's not on sale. That tag, color tag, had to be 50% off. So, just, I don't have time to change my denim. So, don't judge me. Like, oh my God, why you have denim? Because I do. So, I can read you guys' mind. So, before you say something, I, I have an answer for you. I have already said what I said. So, yeah. So we see this guys yes before you come for me i come for you Let's see Whew. you know just for the sake of a thumbnail i am going to i'm not taking my denim off i ain't doing that it's just too much i ain't got no brown because this has a bustier so let's just see what this will look like. Not the right shirt though. I need a men's shirt. Should I go get a men's shirt? Next, yes, let me get a men's shirt because this this other shirt ain't go work. So be right back. Alright, we have a men's tuxedo shirt by um I think this was four ninety one ninety nine from Hope of the Valley by by Atna shirt. I don't know, but let's just see what it looks like. You know, being that we're doing tuxedo, I still didn't take away my bustier. Should I have people? Yeah, no, this is a job, you know. Try, I did style another tuxedo one I got from Hope of the Valley yesterday with one of my um, thrifted women's blazer. I did not like that look because the blazer was so teeny tiny. But I did a short, so you guys get to see it. I did show you guys when I received it. Oh my God, the buttonholes in these things are so little. Look at that. All right, I'm just gonna do one. the jacket let's just say i'm going to a dinner party i love it when i have this cuff mm -hmm. this has become a mini styling video some things i'm anxious to style and some i'm like nah all right come on where's the other hand I need to put um I need to put um a cuff which I have upstairs. I do have cuffs, but being that we're down here, we don't have no cuff. So I'm going to tuck it in in the blazer. If you buy these things, it's good to have cuffs. And you get those at Amazon. You don't have to go to the department store to buy some cuffs. You can even thrift them. If you look in the jewelry, 
department they have cups that are there you can buy to use with your tuxedo shirts all right so here we go the pants they're big i'm gonna have to probably do a belt to hold it so it don't go falling but yeah so this is me going to a little dinner lift up the collar pick up my little clutch still have the shoe and this is men's guys this is all men's yeah nothing here look at the look at the line on the tuxedo then look at the lapel the satin lapel hmm. my shoes gotta be giving me some evening vibes so let's change the shoe take away the cold huh let's get some shoes that we has a little bit of bedazzle to it so guys sometimes i don't even need to chop my closet upstairs i can always chop my closet down here i'm gonna wear this shoe it has that little bedazzle piece it matches this clutch as a matter of fact look at this yeah okay this too was thrifted 9.99 brand new never been used so let's put it on this is i'm just loving this so who's inviting me to a dinner party because I might want to rock this baby. I need to use my cough. So, but anyway. So now we got the right shoe. Let's put it down so you get to see the whole effect. You got to see the shoe. Yeah. So cute. So that's me. Coming to your dinner party and everything I have on my body, I thrifted. Thrifted the shirt, tuxedo, and thrifted the suit. We thrifted this little clutch, and the shoes were thrifted. It's like, come on. Did I go to the store? This was only, still has a tag. It was only $4.99 over the valley. And then the suit was half of $14. So I said $7 for the suit. And the shirt, I believe, was four ninety nine. So, but yeah. Woo! So now I know what to wear. All I need is nice jewelry, which I didn't put on. I can throw some pearls, you know, make it just just look delicious. Yes, I just become towards the end. I just decided to 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 do a little styling here for y'all. Come on, I can't help myself when I like something. I want to share. I want to show you how. Okay, I think I got the wrong pearls. This one is super tangled. I should have just grabbed the one long one. But it's okay. This I'm gonna put it on. But do you see what I can do with this? My braids are in the way. My braids are in the way. This is where I would do this. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I'm struggling. This is the struggle. Okay, guys, you know, if you have braids, and I'm trying to put this in here, and it's not trying to go through, but you get the idea. If I wanted to, if I wanted to style this together.
with this. It's just looking all fabulous. I can do just that. Even though my braids will not let me be great. <laughs> They'll be like, hey, I ain't doing that. Not today, Jackie. But that's that. So that's that. Beautiful. Seven dollars piece. I still had my my little denim thing on this. Like I said, I ain't got no bra. This is my bra, my bustier. So I was not trying to do all that. All right, let's see the next piece. Almost done here. Might as well finish. Ooh, okay, okay. So I had a good, I, I had thought about this Emmanuel Ungaru jacket with a belt, size 14. This is women's. Why was it in the men's section? I wonder. Brand new with tags. Emmanuel Ungaru. It has a belt. Still brand new. Trying to see if there was a price on there. What? What is this? What is this saying? It's just saying um, 100% wool, size 14 or 48. Ital you know, European size. Doesn't give you a price. I thought it was a price here, but no. It's from, it's the, by, um, it's from the Grupo collection. Emmanuel Ungaro is mostly a, a French brand. But this one, even though it's a French brand, was made in Korea. Okay, we'll try it on. I picked this out in men's section, but it's women's. But being that it's a designer, it's very, it's very small. It's a wrap, more like, a, it's not a double breasted. It has that part. Say 14. I love this. It has a belt. I still have on the tuxedo pants. So, yeah. why did I do it that way? Well done, people. My belt is acting up. Belt is acting up, but let's figure it out. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I've been here for a minute. Okay, this is in my new well. It's a wraparound blazer. It's a women's. It says 14 or 48, so it's definitely a woman's blazer. The, the pockets are women's, but I don't know how I ended up in the men's, in my men's being. Should have been rocking this. It's cute. It's pinstripe. With a belt. It's cute. We can switch. We still have the tuxedo pants on and my little evening shoe it's cute so that's how this is looking i've been thinking about this i knew i had this because i keep saying i have another ungaru um jacket but in my mind i thought it was men's but it's actually female all right last no this ain't the last, almost last. This is by Brioni. Lights. Brioni is another men's good brand. Very nice. Very silky. It's a specially tailored by Brioni for pack lane collection london so this was made for park collection brioni 
designed this for them. So let me give Brioni a chance and let's try it on. There's only one more left. And voila. <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be able to, but gee, Jesus. So why should I go freaking buy some more men's blazers when I have a whole a whole store? I have more in my my in my boutique than I than some stores even have. Ugo. Alright, so Ugh. So this is pretty unique. Just try it on. Let's see how a Brioni fits on a woman because Brioni has always been, you know, men's stuff. Brioni, men's. I love the shoulder pad. Oh, I still got to cut off that YSL jacket for you guys before I close this because I want to see what it looks like. So this is what Brioni looks like, guys. I have a little flap in the back. Jeez trying to pick a bag but it's okay Don't have to. so yeah super cool all right ouch that's brioni last laser out of this big old i have to show you guys <laughs> oh, this is the last miserable one Banana Republic. 40 regular. I don't think I thrifted this Banana Republic. I think I bought this at Burlington. I remember there was a period where Burlington had a whole bunch of Banana Republic. So I think, and this is women's. I think this is where I got this from. Yeah, you can tell. It looks like a women's blazer. Definitely women's. I think I got this, or did I thrift it? I don't know. I could have thrifted it. If it's in this box, then maybe I thrifted it. Yeah. Still have on those pants, which I should have been trying on a lot of stuff with it. At this point, I'm just picking up everything. So, yeah. This is my collection. Part of it. Of men's blazer. So, I hope you guys didn't get bored and say, Oh my God, a lot of men's blah, blah, blah. That's what I got. So, I'm going to put everything. I am getting another rolling rack. Being that um, American Way is selling some rolling racks. So I'm going to go over there, get a rolling rack so I can, you know, I want to cut that YSL jacket for you guys so you guys can see what it look like. Sis. Let me not put this. I want to put this. I want to do that so you guys will see what it look like. Where is it? It's here somewhere. I want to, I want you all to be my witness. So <laughs> if I damage it, it's like, what? It damaged the YSL jacket, but it's already damaged. And I only paid $6 for it. So no love lost. Okay, here it is. I found it. I keep looking. I'm like, what the hell is that? So should we cut it off being that this part? Where is it? There's no hiding this thing at all. So I feel like I should just take this part off and then wear it as a vest. Yeah? I'm gonna get the scissors and then we'll come back. All right, guys, we got the scissors. So we are going to make sure, I should put it on the table, but, hmm. <laughs> anyway, let me just hang it off here. Let's see how we can trim this baby. 
and then I will show you guys. No, I gotta take the hanger off. It's already acting up, so what we do? Just cut it off and see. Just gonna hold it on through here. I'm gonna just catch the same part. Oh, okay. It's a YSL, but something ate the fabric. I think a moth ate the fabric. Skip that part. Ooh, it's looking like. Oh shit! I think I did mess it up. <laughs> but I can fix it. Ta Okay. I'm gonna make it look like, you know, the Burberry comfort denim that I got from Didi's that they chopped it off and made us buy it as a vest. That's what I'm doing here. Chopping it off. See what it will look like. I just, the only thing that gets me is the padded shoulder. Okay. So we have chopped it off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how we can wear this YSL. Now it's a vest. It's a Laurent. Oh, okay. I love it. We don't fix. I don't know. Those of you who always says, oh, hem the, hem the hands, hem this. No, this is how these days rough and jaggedy these designers are doing stuff. So let's wear it. Okay. Yeah. Let's just say I have on a white shirt. I could put a white shirt over this and then see what it looks like. I just love the the puffiness. There is no way I could have gone any lower than this because all this part right here is puffy. But this is better than that that thing that I had. The moth ate it. This is six dollars, so who cares what I do with it? I mean, I don't care. You shouldn't care either. <laughs> Oh, Jackie and her mouth. Okay. <sighs> Let's put a shirt on. Even though this is a tuxedo shirt, I just want to see what it looks like with a shirt. Being that the armholes are so big. It's like, is this all ever? Is this video ever ending? Oh, yeah, it's ending. If I was on a live sale, you'll be here longer than that. Okay, so. Okay, okay. Okay, here. So here we go. We have a white. I think I want to fix my neck. Oh. Sure. But this is a tuxedo shirt, so I'm just trying to show you what it would look like, you know, or I could even leave it open, you know. Yeah. So now I can use this. I can use this any kind of way because when I bought it, I was, I realized that little situation but being that it was six dollars i'm like it's why i sell is this something wrong i'm still gonna find a way to put it to work because i know i couldn't fix that that was that was bad where is it maybe i should have done it one shoulder see i might need this button so i have a white skill cell skirt that could use the button not really. This is just a plain button. But anyway, guys, you see what I did here? 
this is my final shebang I didn't destroy nothing but cut the sleeve off and make it do what it do it's made in France it was six dollars you see that so now I've made a vest this came from definitely came from um, American way I am gonna cut some of this white part off so it could be a little bit cleaner yep so what we're gonna do so guys i hope you like this video it was it was an impromptu show but this is better than me going out there and thrifting some more i have too much merchandise so oh yeah whatever merchandise clothing material whatever it is i have a lot so just wanted to show you my half of my collection that i forgot i had because they were in the big old bin upstairs and then i have a rack full of other designer blazers that if i show you guys you'll be like what jackie but i will show you guys so hold up all right guys here is my other collection of men's blazers like you will not believe this right here i believe is burberry no, that's hot chef of a nostrums. Okay. But it's full of all kinds of stuff. And this one is I think Dior, if I'm not mistaken. I gotta go through some of these things. And it's like who's this? But what I'm saying is I think this one right here is Giorgio Armani my point to you is there's more yep emperor money is that one and then upstairs there's more and who's this by there's another this one is georgia money yeah This one is, I believe, Burberry. Yep, Burberry London. So I'm trying to tell you guys, there is more. And that, those are the ones, these are the ones that they're just down here. And sometimes this is Zara. I know they're here. But another rack of, I need to put those. And this is another money. So guys, I will never be broke. Ain't never gonna happen because I have so much stuff. This is theory that I can sell. And you know, if there's a time comes and says, Oh, we need money, here you go, boss. I just have to look into my archive, Ralph Lauren, and there's Dior. Oh, this is my Dior shirt. Wait a minute now. Why is this down here? This is supposed to be upstairs. I said your jacket. Tuxedo. CD. Christian Dior. Oh. It's a suit. And then I have the tuxedo Dior shirt. Alright, this is going to go upstairs so I can remember to pull that together in case I need to polo I thought I had taken all my expensive stuff my charity made in it darling my charity and then this one is oh, another deal oh. Oh, this too is a suit unbelievable this is a suit this is, yeah, this is a Dior men's suit. What? Okay, upstairs it goes. I just cleaned Remy's room and here I am. Ready to take some more stuff back up there. Fuck the good man. Here you go, boss. This looks like Giorgio Armani. Yeah. Another Hugo Boss. Guys, if I tell you, is this buy right here made in Italy? 
Who's this? If I tell you what I have in here, you'll be like, what? What's this one? Hold up. I think this is my... Oh. Okay. I just broke a hanger. I just broke a hanger. What's this? This is women's. Why is it here? Oh no, I got all money. I know my other Valentino caravan is here. So why is this one made in Italy? Oh, I think this is it. If I'm not mistaken, Neiman Marcus. Giselda Zinia What's this? So I'm still trying to find out some of these things Somebody Paris Jackie Estrella Paris Ooh, Love it This right here, tuxedo. I said, Manny, and his tuxedo. What's this? Benny, Italy. New York, just private label. All right, what? What? Here go, boss. And make sure Burberry. I think got a Burberry shirt that goes with it. Here's the Burberry shirt. I think this is a Burberry blazer. Oh no, it's a Hugo Boss. Why is it with Burberry? I don't know. Gotta figure that one out. All right. I think my other Valentino is upstairs. Sheesh, what's this? Super 100? Oh well, guys, if you need, oh. There it is. Oh no, this is Sergio. It's another Sergio Valentino. Double breasted. Yeah. Where is my other one? It's another made in Italy. Who stays by? Woo! Three button. Enzo. And I already showed you guys another Enzo. Alright guys, so there is so much. So much what is this by? Oh it's mommy. Oh I love this. Lavish. What's this by? Giorgio Armani. Double breasted. So much. I can op literally open this door. So that's the other rack of men's blazers I have to show you guys. All right, guys, we are closing this impromptu video just to show my men's collection of blazers. And most of them are high end brands. I don't buy any smuggly smuggly. There is more in on this rack over here, just shoved in there. But um, what I'm gonna do is make a pile make an appointment the real real i think that's what's getting me i need to make an appointment let them know i'm coming because we have ties too i have ms i have everything the tie situation is in the back you guys i have 
all kinds of ties. So I gotta call them and let them know. I got Fendi, Valentino, Dior, Hermes. I got it. I gotta let them know I'm coming with my tie basket and some of the blazers. Just sell a little bit of each so I can make room for more. <laughs> All right, guys, so give me a thumbs up and share my video if you like it. If you think it's a little bit excessive, it's okay. I think so, too. So you ain't saying anything that I don't know about. But that stops me from going out there to thrift. Because if I didn't do this, I'll be in the stores. So this kept me busy. And to give you guys a little bit of incentive to go, when you go thrifting, go to the men's department. Because that's where you'll find luxury pieces. Okay, guys, so that's all I got for you. Love you.